To clean the filter and restore higher flow rates, you simply fill your reservoir about a quarter of the way full, attach the filter, and shake it for 30 seconds. We have an open line of communication with our customer service team and Seattle Repair Shop. Early on in developing the quick draw, we asked them, what's the biggest problem people have with their water filter? And they told us the same thing we found online, clogging. Nothing's more frustrating on a trip than watching clean water barely trickle through your filter. We knew we wanted a filter that was capable of reliable and fast filtration for months straight on the trail while still being ultra light which is why we designed the quick draw to be a shake to clean filter with the best hollow fiber tech available. Another question we asked ourselves was how should a filter perform when it's not being used? On the go filtration demands quick access and storage. Rolling up the filter cartridge in the reservoir creates a compact package that easily slides into external pockets on backpacks or fits in a small nook of space inside a pack. Much like our other hollow fiber filters, proper long-term storage is also important to maximize the life of the quick draw. Filter one liter of clean water through the filter, then fill the reservoir with a liter of clean water and add two and a half milliliters or a half a teaspoon of household bleach with a chlorine concentration between five and eight percent. Or you can use 10 aqua tabs. Filter a half liter of solution through the system and let it sit 30 to 60 minutes, then filter the remaining solution through the filter. Once the reservoir is empty, detach the filter and put on the dirty side cap. Towel off the filter in the reservoir and allow it to finish drying before putting away. When it's dry, roll the filter up in the reservoir and try not to lose it in your gear closet. It's okay to store the hollow fibers wet or dry. If they are stored wet, it's important that they have been disinfected and are kept at a temperature above freezing. I'd like to talk about a particularly key feature of the quick draw that sets an important standard in the personal filter category. Safety. Whether it's the hollow fiber in our platy microfilters or Sawyer's or Catadine's, if you drop the filter or it freezes when it's wet, you run the risk of damaging the fibers. Given there are hundreds of little fibers in a tight bundle, it's impossible for a user to visually tell if the cartridge has been compromised. Being reliable means being able to know if the filter has been compromised, right? Perhaps you should ask our competitors that question. Unlike their fill and squeeze filters, the QuickDraw has a simple integrity check to determine if it's still safe to use after dropping and freezing. Begin by removing the clean side assembly and placing it somewhere where you won't lose it. The fibers must be fully wetted, so filter at least a liter of water through if you haven't used it in a while. Then refill your reservoir with about a half a liter of water. Turn upside down and filter some of the water through the filter. Then flip the container and squeeze air through the filter. Look for a steady stream of bubbles coming out of the top of the filter. A few bubbles initially emerging is fine, but a steady stream indicates the hollow fibers have been compromised. Our team set out to develop a personal filter that will elevate the whole category. To create an affordable filter that offers a fantastic user experience and high performance technology. There's nothing quite like cooking over a cast iron skillet outdoors. The pre-seasoned cast iron cook set includes a 10-inch fry pan, 3-quart chicken fryer, and 4-quart Dutch oven. The included lid is interchangeable for all pieces in the set, and accessories include a Dutch oven lid lifter and a hot handle holder. The cast iron set comes pre-seasoned and evenly distributes heat when cooking. Even heating means faster cooking without having to manage the heat source or rotate the pans. If your campsite doesn't have a grill, we've got you covered. Our cast iron campfire tripod and our heavy-duty grill rack are both great additions when cooking over the fire. Both items are sold separately. The rustic look of cast iron matched with long-lasting construction has a rich history in outdoor cooking, but is frequently used for indoor cooking as well. The pre-seasoned cast iron cook set is one of our most versatile products, offering an ease to cooking from your home kitchen to the cabin to the great outdoors. The ultimate knife for outdoors and bushcraft. The Holtzman Silverback. This high quality knife is ergonomically designed with a G10 handle for superior grip and longevity. The handle consists of a finger guard that keeps the fingers safely behind the cutting edge. The overall length of the fixed blade knife measures eight and a half inches long, consisting of a full tang four inch drop point blade. The razor sharp blade is constructed from a slab of D2 steel that runs the full length of the knife and is heat treated to perfection to ensure superior strength without becoming brittle. Has the extra security of a removable leather strap. 
The knife has an adjustable belt clip with adjustable spacers, allowing it to fit belts and straps of various sizes. The belt clip can be flipped 90 degrees to enable different carry options with the included Allen wrench. The belt clip also is spring-loaded and has a locking feature. The sheath includes two attachments. One attachment is designed to hold the scraper. The other attachment is for holding the ferro rod. Both of these attachments can be removed with the included Allen wrench. The ferro rod has an overall length of over three and a half inches with a matching G10 handle. The scraper has a perfect blend of steel and is heat treated to perfection to produce sparks of high intensity with every use. The scraper includes a 90 degree edge on every side, enabling all edges to be used as well as for ambidextrous use. It also comes with a matching G10 handle. This set also includes strong 550 paracord, which can be added to the handle of the knife and accessories. Additionally, the paracord can be used to create a lanyard for the ferro rod and scraper. This set comes nicely packaged in a genuine quality gift box and is perfect for the holidays, birthdays, or as a treat for yourself. The SOL Emergency Bivy is a three and a half ounce shelter that I never enter the backcountry without. Its seam sealed edges will keep wind, rain, and snow out and it reflects 90% of your body heat to keep you warm in order to get some rest and survive the night. The durable heat sheets material is made from a stretchy polyethylene that is coated on the inside with a vapor deposit aluminum. This is the same fabric that we make our world famous emergency blankets out of. If you do puncture the bivy, the tear won't run and render the bag useless. The hole can easily be repaired with our favorite duct tape. The bivy comes with an extra large stuff sack actually twice as large as you see here, so you can easily put the bivy back into the stuff sack for future use. The SOL Emergency Bivy is three and a half ounces of ultralight protection that I never enter the backcountry without. Being prepared means having the right tools in your toolbox. Sadly, not all fire starters have that special spark. With a durable paracord handle, robust striker, integrated whistle, and a few survival hacks, making fires just got a lot easier. Try adding duct tape to your rod. This ensures a better grip and extra survival tape for future use. Remove the black coating from the rod before striking. Then, by adding a small heap of shavings in the pile, you ensure a flashlight ignition. This rod can also be used with different strikers if needed. Like a survival knife, but always make sure to use the back of the blade. Or try a hatchet or axe to create a large pool of sparks. You could even use the back blade of the trauma shears that comes with our first aid kits. Now that we have sparks, what materials can be used for an easy fire? Having dry kindling is key. But if you don't have any, a bit of petroleum jelly goes a long way and has many different uses. Fatwood is great to start a fire, and thicker pieces will help to keep it going. Taking your bushcraft skills to the next level takes time and practice. The better you get, the closer you'll be to warmth and comfort. Direct from the pocket shot comes the Pro Aero Kit. It features a 40 pound draw, yet it's small enough to fit in your pocket. Included with every Pro Aero Kit is one Pro Aero pouch, a hammer handle used for increased accuracy and power, a black arrow cap used to steady your arrows, and an arrow release trigger. Also included are three red arrow pouches, four knock covers, as well as a pocket shot inner ring and a cap used for changing out pouches. To change pouches on the hammer handle, line up the cap and inner ring teeth and turn away from yourself. Then remove the inner ring from the handle and pull up and off to remove the old pouch. Now put the first two fingers of your right hand through the inner ring and with your thumb hold the base of the pouch to the inner ring lip and with your other hand, pull the pouch over and on. Then pull down and towards yourself till the pouch is flush with the inner ring lip. 
Now just screw the inner ring back into the hammer handle. Then, same as before, line up the inner ring and cap teeth, but this time turn toward yourself. And now you're ready to shoot. To fire the Pro Aero pouch, slide the arrow knock into the pouch until you hear a click. You may have to rotate the arrow some to get it to line up. Then attach the clip release to the string loop at the back of the pouch. Now just stretch the pouch back and pull the trigger to fire. To fire the red arrow pouch, just insert the arrow and pinch the knock with your fingers. Then pull back and release the fire. We do offer pocket shot arrows, but any brand will work. Just be sure to install a knock cover on the back so you don't tear your pouch prematurely.